Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Beauty and the Beast. This is a fingerstyle version for the song. So let's get right into it. You need standard tuning for the song. And uh, we just begin by playing E and A. All right, so that's going to be pretty easy. Let's see how to play the intro once again. You've got open on the top string. 2nd fret and 2nd fret on 5th and 4th strings and 1st fret on 3rd string so what you're going to do now this time we're using fingers we're not using any pick obviously so you got you're going to play with your thumb open on top string 5th string 4th string and 3rd string alright so once again Then you have open on 2nd string, then 4th fret on 2nd string, and 5th fret on 2nd string. So you have... Alright, so that's what you have on E. Once again... Next, you come over here. So, we need 2nd fret and 2nd fret on 4th and 3rd strings, alright? Now, we're going to pick 5th string open, 4th string, 3rd string, and 2nd string open, alright? And after that, you're going to pick 4th fret and 5th fret on 1st string. And then you're going to pick 2nd fret and 4th fret on 1st string. Okay, so. Once again. Right after that, you're going to come back to your E major chord. And how you're going to do it is this time, instead of just picking the top string, you're going to pick top string open and first string open at the same time. And then the rest will be the same, fifth string, fourth string, third string. All right, so. And then again, open on second string, fourth fret and fifth fret. Then you come back to your A. This is the same thing that we did the last time. Open on 5th string, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, open, right? Again, the same thing. And then right after that, you come back to E. And then you start with the bass. So let me play the whole intro once again. I'm going to go really slow. So on E major, you start with E major and do this. Come to A. And then back to E. A. And again. Back to E. So you stop over here. Stop on the third string. Now you start with the verse. Alright, so you start with first fret on third string. Okay, so open on second string, then fourth fret and fifth fret on second string. So Then come to A again, and here you're going to pick second string on third, second fret on third string, and open on fifth string together. Then you're going to pick fourth string, second fret, open on second string, back to third string, second fret. All right. So let's check out. Let's check out the verse once again. Okay, now you come back to E. Alright, 
right so just going to pick sixth string fifth string fourth string third string all right just like before then once again so here what you're going to do is again pick first fret on third string open on second string fourth fret on second string and now you're going to pick open on fifth open on first string okay then after that so here you're going to pick second fret on first string and fifth fret open at the same time like that and then you're obviously on your A chord so you have yeah, second string is open over here so you got so this is fourth fret fourth string third string second string open back to third string all right so let's see second time around you have once again all right now let's play the whole verse once again come back to E major so this is going to be this is going to be the same just like every time you're going to pick open on top string second fret second fret fifth and fourth strings third string first fret right now here's the difference okay so after after this you're going to come to open on first string second fret on first string fourth fret on first string fifth fret and then here you're going to pick two notes at a time top string is fourth fret and first string is seventh fret pick together okay so after that So this is going to be seventh fret picked again on the first string. Then once again seventh fret picked again along with fourth fret on top string. Okay. After that, so this is going to be fifth fret on the first string, fourth fret on first string, seventh fret on second string. Okay. So let's go from here. After that, you're going to pick open on fifth string and fifth fret on second string together. Then after that, you're going to pick sixth fret on third string, seventh fret on fourth string, back to sixth fret on third string. So let's take it from here once again. See once again. Right after that, you're going to do this. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to have fifth fret on first string, fourth fret on first string, seventh fret. And fifth fret on second string okay and then open on second string okay so let's put it all together once again from here E major this 
and right after you pick that second string open you have to do this okay so here you come on your A major again you've got 7th fret and 7th fret on 5th and 4th strings and 6th fret on 3rd string okay then you have 5th fret on 2nd string 4th fret on 2nd string and then you come to your D flat chord okay so from now we are going to be using a couple of chords over here so the chords a D flat chord you've got fourth fret on second string and you have a bar over here so this is going to be sixth fret sixth fret and sixth fret on fourth string third string and second string okay like that you're just going to you know you can just pick all of those strings together if you want or you can uh, you know pick uh, individual notes over here so let's take it from e major once again Do this. So here you come to third fret on fourth string, first fret on third string, then first fret and second fret on second string. So after that, you're going to come to G flat chord. Okay, so um, what you're going to do is on G flat chord you have second fret on top string, then you have fourth fret and fourth fret on fifth and fourth strings, then you have third fret on third string, and you're going to just pick. I'm picking top string and um, third and fourth strings together with the help of my these two fingers over here. So I'm doing that, and then and I, I do a little slap over here. So and then again twice pick them. So right so let's take it from here once again come to uh, D flat chord and then G flat chord slap G flat again come back to D flat just going to strum it right then come back to this is going to be the same again third fret on the fourth string first fret on third string and first and second fret on second string okay this time we're going to do this so this is going to be fourth fret on second string and second fret on top string picked together now after that so here you're going to start with a slide on second string four to six fret with your little finger because you had it like this so you might as well do the slide with your little finger all right four to six on second string then you have fourth fret on second string back to six fret on second string then you come to fourth fret on the first string okay so after that come back to g flat chord so this time you're playing it like this and not like this because it's easier to switch from here to you know the rest of the notes that we have to play. So here what I like to do is uh, once again let me show you the notes over here. Second fret on the top string, it's not necessary for now. Then you have fourth fret, fourth fret on fifth and fourth strings, third fret on second, third fret on uh, third string, and then you have second fret on second string. So here I like to pick it with my um, thumb over here, fifth string. Then you have fourth string, third string, second string with these three fingers over here, right? Okay, so uh, let's go from over here once again. G flat again, back to D flat, and then here. 
and after that come to G flat again all right so we now we have to look at um, all, the, all, all the notes after here so after this you do this so here what I like to do is I like to again you know appreciate it um, if you can't do this you can just do two times on second fret on second string and then go from here right but I like to first do uh, play individually you know a roll so here you have fifth string fourth string third string second string play it like this individually then once again second fret on second string and if you can't do that then just play second string on second fret on second string twice okay so after that so here you have first fret and second fret on second string then you have first fret on first string okay all right so once again okay so let's start with the whole d flat chord again just when we come to d flat okay so here yeah, right okay g flat slap again Back to D flat. Come over here. Right? Now you come back to your G flat chord. But here, what you need to do is you need to pick the top strings because you need the, those notes. Okay, you need to differentiate it from this so you can play this still but what you need is you know, the top notes for that G flat chord so so here now our thumb comes into play if you want you can do it like this I, I just feel that I am more comfortable in doing it this way using my thumb which is why I keep it on the second fret of top string and then same fourth fret and fourth fret on fifth and fourth strings so you're just going to pick the top string fifth and fourth strings together Okay, so after this, right? So that's the chorus, beauty and the beast, right? So here you have sixth fret on second string, then you have seventh fret on second string, then you have fourth and sixth fret on second string, so. Okay, so come back to your D flat chord. Pick them together. Fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string, all of them together. Slap, and then again. All right, and then once again. Because after that, you have to go to that part. Um, that part, right? So, before we move to that part, I want you to know that this part that we just played, this part, the whole thing, and once again, right? This whole part that I just played, this is going to be repeated again after we come, after we come from here, um, our F minor chord. This whole part is going to be repeated again. So I'm not going to show you how to play the whole thing once again because you, you have to understand that, like I just said, this whole part is going to be repeated once again. All right. So just telling you that before we, before we move forward. All right. So we came over here, right? Now you can do this. Okay. So you start with. 6th fret on 3rd string, 8th fret on 3rd string, and then you have 6th fret and 7th fret on 2nd string, so, alright, come to F minor, you can play it over here or over here, but it's better to play it over here, 
All right, so let's see how to play this chord over here. You've got 8th fret on 5th string, 10th fret and 10th fret on 4th and 3rd strings. Then you have, um, you've got 9th fret on 2nd string. And you're going to pick all of those strings. So I'm picking it with my thumb over here, 5th string, and then with my index finger, middle finger, and ring finger, right? Pick them all together. So let's start from over here. Come to F minor. Okay, so you're going to pick that three times once again. One, slap, two, three. Then you come back to your G flat chord. So it can be played over here or over here. But it's easy to switch from over here to over here, which is why we're going to play it like this. So this is going to be ninth fret on your fifth string. Then you have 11, 11, 11 on 4th string, 3rd string, and 2nd string. So again, I do a forward roll over here. 5th string, 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string. Play it individually like this, like that. Then come back to 3rd string and 4th string. So, okay, so let's take it from once again from D flat. Going into F minor. Okay, now. F minor. One, two. Come to G flat. After that, you come back to this um, lick over here. So this is again going to be same thing. You've got sixth fret, third string, eighth fret. Then you have six and seven on second string. Back to D. Uh, back to F minor. Back to G flat. Once again, do this lick over here. Back to D minor, F F sharp, F minor. Now here's a change, right? So let me show you once again the whole D, the whole F minor part. So start with. G flat again F minor slap F minor again back to and again back to D F minor okay now here's a change so here you can do that a finger roll again forward finger roll this is you know again picking fifth string fourth string third string second string individually then again second string okay that's uh, ninth fret over there so or you can just pick ninth fret twice if you can't do that okay and then so here you have seventh fret on second string sixth fret on second string eighth fret on second string eighth fret on third string so Then you come to B flat minor chord. Okay. Okay, so this is just going to be, it's played like this, but you just need these three notes over here. So what I'm doing is I'm picking eighth fret on fifth string, eighth fret on fourth string, and sixth fret on third string, Pick together. This is going to be your B flat minor chord, all right? Just these three notes. Let's take it from F minor once again. And come to B flat minor. Now after that, so you can again do the slap, alright? Okay, now here's a key change over here. So after that B flat minor, you're going to do seventh fret on second string. 6th fret on 2nd string, then again 8th fret and 6th fret on 3rd string, okay, so, and now here's the key change, okay, so this is now we're going to come to B major, okay, 
you can either do it over here or here but it's easy to go from you know those licks over there to over here so which is why we play that in this position okay so here again as you can see I'm just picking that same fifth string fourth string and third string right so this time we have ninth fret on fifth string ninth fret on fourth string and eighth fret on third string okay pick them together do the slap then again twice so and do the same thing two frets up okay so once again go two frets up And then this is the same chord as your D flat, right? So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna play everything once again the moment we come to that D, that F minor chord. All right, so we start with here. All right, now F minor. I showed you how to play this this is this is going to be your sixth fret on second string seventh fret on second string ninth fret on second string then come back to sixth fret on second string okay so and then you come to your B major okay this is going to be ninth fret ninth fret on fifth and fourth strings eighth fret on fourth string Eight from third string, so pick all three together, slap, and again, and go two frets up on D flat. All right, now, now what we're going to do is, like I said before in the video, uh, I think a few minutes before we went to that F minor part, we're going to play that entire section that we did over here once again, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So it's just that there's a change in the rhythm pattern, you know the the picking pattern a bit just when you play the chords everything else is going to be the same so what I like to what I like to do over here is this so this is going to be just pick that fourth uh, that fifth string by itself on that D flat chord then pick fourth and third strings together all right so then do the slap okay then pick again fourth and third strings together so right once again now everything else will remain the same like I said before so you know how to play this part now so let's play that once again come to G flat or because we've been we changed that picking pattern right so So we're here what you're going to do is let me show you that picking pattern on G flat chord you're going to pick that top string second fret then you're going to pick third and fourth strings together all right on G flat so do the slap okay then once again pick fourth and third strings together so okay so let's take it from here If you can't do this picking pattern, don't worry, just do the normal pattern. Back D flat and okay, same thing that we learned before. Again, the slide back to B flat, G flat, sorry, and again, pick those stop strings. And once again, back to D flat. Now the very ending of the arrangement. Okay, so this is again very similar to what we just played before. We're going to start with that D flat chord again. But here what I'm doing is I'm just picking 
those three notes together, um, not together, individually. Okay, so here you have sixth fret, all right? Fourth string, third string, second string. Pick them individually, right? Fourth string, third string, second string. Then once again, second string, okay? And then, so this is going to be fourth fret on second string, sixth fret on second string. Then fourth fret on first string. So come back to your B and G flat chord. All right, just picking those fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string. All right. Then again, this is going to be the same. Come back to B flat, G flat. Those upper upper notes over there. Top string, fifth string, fourth string. And the ending is this. Okay, so this time what we're doing is we're picking two notes at a time. We're picking fourth fret on first string and sixth fret on second string picked together. Then you come to this is going to be sixth fret on first string and seventh fret on second string picked together. Okay, so the next time this is going to be fourth fret on second string and sixth fret on third string picked together and then six and six on both third and second string so so and in the very end of the arrangement end the song by picking a d flat chord so you know you can pick that fourth fret six 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 all right fifth string fourth string third string second string and that is it so i hope you understand the whole arrangement we've hope we've got the intro first on e and a then we change the key of the song come to d flat play that part come to your f minor then again in the end come back to this part so that is it for beauty and the beast fingerstyle arrangement for the song i hope you like the lesson make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new i'll see you guys with another lesson very soon thanks for watching goodbye and take care